Hey, what's up, guys? Carl Gallant, Balfour Video, and today I'm going to do my NFL Week 5 picks. So, uh, last week I went 8-8, eight and eight. overall 36-28. and 28. So, here it goes on the schedule there. So, let's we'll start off with Thursday Night Football, October 3rd. 6-15 Mountain Time, Prime Time, Prime Video. We got the Tampa Bucks at the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bucks here to win. The Bucks there look really, really sharp there, and I think they can actually do something there. Um, they look really, really good last week there, actually pummeling the Eagles last week there. They look really, really sharp there and stuff. Um, mostly the Falcons there. Um, they technically struggled last week. The Falcons did kind of struggle last week there, and they mostly had a, a mostly a harder issue there, um, with even with Kirk Cousins there, who honestly didn't look mostly the best here. But I'm gonna say the Bucks here look really really sharp, and I think they can actually pressure the game here and stuff. So I'm gonna say Bucks win it over the Falcons. <clears throat> That's it for that's it for the Thursday night game. So let's move on to Sunday, October sixth. We got a seven thirty game Mountain Time Prime Time NFL Network. This game's out of the country. We have the New York Jets versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, <clears throat> I am gonna go with the Vikings here to win. The Vikings there look really sharp in the last four weeks there. They almost lost to Green Bay last week there, but they mostly got it done against Green Bay last. They mostly got it done against Green Bay last week there. They looked really, really good there against the Packers last week. Mostly it was a really close in game there and stuff. Um, Aaron Jones there, he didn't really got too much of the rock last week there, and I think they're going to try to find uh, him again there. The Vikings are going to try to use him again in this week against the Jets here. Um, the Jets here. They technically lost to my team last week. They technically lost to my team last week there, and they didn't really look the best there. They kind of looked really, really bad last week there um, against my Broncos there. And technically, uh, we looked really uh, – mostly they were having some struggles last week against my Broncos, and mostly they tried to uh, – um, mostly Aaron Rodgers did got sacked five times against my team last week there. I don't know if he's going to have the same fate there against the against the Vikings there because the Vikings' defense is way stronger in our defense here. So I think uh, I think I'm, I'm going to go with the Vikings here to win. I think the the Vikings are going to keep rolling on in this game or keep rolling on it over here. So I'm going to say Vikings over the over the Jets. <clears throat> Next game, that's it for the 7.30 game. So let's move on to the 11 o'clock games, Mountain Time. First on the 11 o'clock games, we got the Carolina Panthers at the Chicago Bears. Um, I am going to go with the Bears here to win. I think the Bears can get it done against this uh, uh, Panthers team. This Panthers team doesn't look good. They look like ass there. Um, mostly, I think they're doing pretty well. With, uh, I think they're turning themselves around. I think the Panthers are actually turning themselves around with the uh, uh, Andy Dalton. Uh, Andy Dalton there, he looked really okay there um, last week. There, he looked okay last week against the Bengals. Mostly trying to mostly bouncing a lot against the Bengals here and stuff. Um, but mostly the uh, the Bears here, they look really really good. Um, they don't work that the best there, but I think they can get it mostly done there with. Uh, with uh, their their young rookie quarterback there, I think the Bears can get it done with their young rookie quarterback there with the uh, CJ Stroud or not CJ Stroud, uh, Caleb Williams. I think Caleb Williams is gonna actually gonna have a really good game against this Panthers team because this Panthers defense looks really really bad there, and he's ha he's gonna actually have his first field day here. I think he's gonna mostly see this mostly with the pressure there and stuff like that. So I'm gonna say, um, even if they, even if the Bears are starting a rookie quarterback, I think it's gonna be a, a close. This game is gonna be possibly close, but I'm gonna say uh, Bears win it over the Panthers. Next game we got the Baltimore Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals. 
I am going to go, I want to say no contest. Going with the Ravens here to win. The Ravens look really, really good there with Jamar Jackson there. They crushed the Bills last week. They totally crushed the Bills last week there. Um, they definitely upset the Bills last week and actually crushing them. And uh, they look really, really good there and stuff. Um, mostly Jor- uh, mostly the Bengals do not do not look the best there with Jor- Burrow. Burrow, who looked really, really bad there. And I think... Uh, he, he mostly might have a little bit more struggles here against the against this like Ravens team there. I don't know what the heck is going on with Joe Burrow there. Joe Burrow has been looking really bad this year. Um, I'm gonna say this is this is no contest. Ravens should beat the living crap out of the Bengals. Bengals do not look the good, not look good there. Even if they did got a win off last week, even if they beat the Panthers last week, it that's not really saying too much here. But they're not going to do the same thing with the Ravens, who honestly look really, really good there with Jamar Jackson, who can actually move his feet there. They actually have a really poised defense here. So I'm going to say Ravens over the Bengals. <clears throat> Next game, uh, we have the Miami Dolphins at the New England Patriots. <sighs> um... This is going to be a pretty hard pick here. Possibly going with the Dolphins here to win. I think the Dolphins can get it done there against this Patriots team. This Patriots team it looks really, really bad. I think they can't really do too much there with the with their quarterback there and stuff like that. Um, they just can't really fully get it done. Um, <clears throat> the Dolphins there do not have two or there, so... This is going to be pretty bad there. Even if they do have Tyreek Hill, but Tyreek Hill has not been playing that good this year. So I don't know about too much about this game. This this game might be a coin flip. I can't really say too much about this game. But <clears throat> I'm going to say the Dolphins win it. I think they're more ploids, and I think they actually have a much better defense here. But this game is going to be a coin flip. I'm going to say the I'm going to say the Dolphins win over the Patriots. Um. <clears throat> Next game, we got the Cleveland Browns at the Washington Commanders. Um, going with the Commanders here to win. Commanders look really good there. The last couple weeks there, they have been doing really, really well there with their rookie quarterback there. Like, uh, they did really well with their rookie quarterback there. He, they look really supposed there. They actually have a lot of attacks there. They can actually throw it to the rookie there. Um, mostly going against this Browns team. Ooh, it's kind of not doing that well, even if they don't actually have, uh, they don't have, like, Nick Chubbs there, and that was the big thing there when they lost Nick Chubbs, because they were actually pretty good with Nick Chubbs on the on the field there. Um, without Nick Chubbs, they're going to actually have a hard time going against this Commanders team, who is actually looking poised there, and actually looking pretty good this year. Um, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say Commanders win it. Over the over the Browns, I just don't see the, what the Browns can actually fully do in this game against the um, <clears throat> against the against the Commanders. Next game, we got the Indianapolis Colts at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, this game is a shit bowl game, shit bowl, the, one of the shit bowls of the week. Um, I'm gonna go with the Colts here to win. The Jags are ass. The Jaguars are ass there. They just can't get nothing fully going. They look really terrible. They can't get nothing fucking in sync there. They look really, really bad the last couple weeks there. They mostly did upset it. Uh, they did upset it. The They did one last. The Mostly they, they did technically won last week there in a weird upset. But technically they're going against this Colts team. Who honestly has an okay defense there and an okay offense. But technically, I just don't see what they can actually fully do against the against this uh, against this Colts team. I just don't see what the Jags can do. So I'm going to go with the Colts here to win over the Jags. <clears throat> That's it for that game. So I'm on to so I'm on to the next game. The next game we have the Buffalo Bills at the Houston Texans. Oh man, this is going to be this game is going to going to be a hard-hitting game to pick here. Both of them look good. Both of them look good there. Even uh I think I'm going to go with the Bills here to win. 
The Bills are mostly pissed off there from losing against the Ravens last week. They they might want to take their revenge there from going into into Bal- mostly going into Baltimore. They're also go, possibly going to Houston there and mostly uh, taking on this Texans team, who honestly looks pretty elite. There was C.J. Stroud there. C.J. Stroud looks really good there, but both teams look freaking elite here. I think both teams look really elite, but mostly I'm going to say the I think the Bills actually might be pissed off from losing really hard last week there. Losing against the against a like a Baltimore team who honestly was uh, underrated, so I think uh, <clears throat> going again going again going into Houston there, this might be a hard matchup here. This might be a pretty pretty close game, but I'm gonna say Bills possibly win it in a close fashion. <clears throat> That's it for the eleven o'clock games. So let's move on to the two o five games, Mountain Time. First on the 205, we got the Las Vegas Raider haters at my Denver Broncos. Um, also, we're also wearing the uh, uh, powder blue helmets with the D logo. We're throwing our uh, throwbacks with the powder helmets. So, <clears throat> um, I am going to go with my Broncos here to win. Reason why? Because our defense there looked really good there. They mostly put in the stops with Aaron Rodgers there. The last couple of weeks there, we did put in our stops with Aaron Rodgers there. We sacked him five times last week there. Um, technically, this is mostly going to be an interesting thing with our offense there, who honestly, our, our defense there, who can actually mostly pressure the, the quarterback there. Uh, Bo Nix there, he didn't really look that good last week because of the rain. Mostly, yeah, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, yeah, Nix is not doing that well. But mostly, guess what, guys? He is most, He was playing with rain last week. So I think he's gonna mostly gonna bounce back in here because he looked pretty good there, um, right after the win- the rain ended there, and I think um I think the Broncos running game might actually mostly be affecting this uh, to the haters there, um, <clears throat> the haters lost a lot of weapons there they lost a lot of weapons there so they don't have Javon- they don't have Devonte Adams they don't have uh Crop there they don't actually have anybody of those those guys. Yeah, mostly having in their weapons there. They're starting a quarterback who, who is not the best there. They're starting a quarterback who's not really the best there and stuff. But I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say my Broncos win it. I think my Broncos can pull it out and win this one and snapping the nine game losing streak against the haters. So uh, I'm gonna say my Broncos win it there. Next game. We got the Arizona Cardinals at the San Francisco 49ers. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the Niners here to win. The Niners look really, really strong there. And I think they can mostly do some lot of damage here. And they look really, really good there. They do not have, they do not have Christian McCaffrey. He's out for the rest of the year. So that's gonna mostly gonna hurt him there, um, for in the game there and stuff like that. Mostly it's gonna hurt him in the run game department. Uh, Brock Purdy has not been doing the best there in the this year, but I think he can handle the Cardinals here. Uh, mostly the Cardinals do not actually have too much of a ploy there, and they can't really do too much here and stuff. They do actually have a really good defense here, but mostly minus their defense. They didn't look the best last week, and they mostly got creamed last week. So I'm going to say the uh, Niners win it. I'm going to go with the Niners here went over the Cardinals. That's it for the 205 games. So we'll move on to the 225 games. Mountain time. First on the 225, we got the Green Bay Packers at the L.A. Rams. Um, I'm going to go with the Rams here to win. I think the Rams... Look really, really in place there. They look really good. Um, even if they don't have uh, Cooper Cup or Mapuka there, who honestly might be a big, big threat to them there. They are actually dealing with injuries there um, with the with the with the team there and stuff. Um, the Packers, they're starting Jordan Love again, and Jordan Love didn't look good in the first half. He looked really, really shaky in the first half, but he kind of bounced back in the second half there against the. Uh, Against the um, against the uh, against the uh, 
Vikings last week there mostly mostly looked he kind of looked pretty shaky there and he didn't really look the best there and stuff so they're going to deal with shaky problems there Rams are going to deal with kind of like injury bug problems but uh I don't know uh, if Jordan Love's playing if it was the other guy I might pick the Packers to win honestly I'd be picking the Packers to win if it was their backup quarterback but the but if Jordan Love is playing um the way he was playing last week there and he kind of looked shaky there I'm going to pick the Rams here to win. Just to be safe, I'm going to be picking the Rams the Rams here to win just to be safe here. But I'm going to say Rams win it over the Packers. Next game, we got the New York Giants at the Seattle Seahawks. And this is no contest. Seahawks, I'm going to go with the Seahawks here to win. Seahawks are mostly got embarrassed last week there by the Detroit Lions. The Lions beat them pretty badly last week there. I think they might want they're possibly might be pissed off in this game here and might want to beat up on New York here. Um who honestly looked really, really decent last week and didn't really look the best there. The Giants do not look the best there. They're going against the Seahawks team who's honestly pissed off there. And I'm gonna say this I'm gonna go with the Seahawks here. When Seahawks look good there, they actually have a really strong defense there who honestly might pressure pressure this um, Giants O-line defense there and I think the Seahawks possibly might win it. I'm going to go with the Seahawks here went over the Giants. <clears throat> That's it for the 225. So on to Sunday Night Football 620 Mountain Time, Prime Time, NBC and Peacock. We got the Dallas Cowboys at the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, this game here, the St- I'm going to go with the Steelers here when the Steelers have a great defense here. They still have a great defense there, even if they lost last week. Um, mostly it was a weird upset loss they kind of they had last week. They looked really good there. They mostly looked really, really a place here and stuff. Uh, the Cowboys here, they have been not been truthful, and they're not been uh, executing their play. They're not been executing there. And they are not been playing some really good. Te- they're not been playing really good the last couple weeks. But I'm going to say the Steelers win it because of that defense. That defense is going to be a massive threat to them, and technically they're going to actually have a hard time going against that defense. So I'm going to say the Steelers win it over the Cowboys. <clears throat> That's it for the Sunday game. So I'm on to Monday Night Football. Uh, 6:15 Mountain Time, Prime Time, ESPN. We got the. New Orleans Saints at the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going to go with the Chiefs here to win. I'm, I'm going to go with the Saints here to win. Saints there look really good there with Derek Carr. He can actually throw down the field and actually score a lot of touchdowns. He actually can execute those plays there and possibly um, execute those plays in there and throw it down the field and actually score. He looks really, really placed there and stuff. Uh, the Chiefs there, <clears throat> they've been struggling. They've been struggling there, but they've been winning there. They've been winning by, like, fluke games the last couple weeks there. The last four weeks, they've been winning by fluke games. Um, but I'm going to say the uh, – I'm going to say um, their fluke streak – or their fluke ending streak might come to an end here because I think the Saints are more powerful there and they actually do have a better offense there and a better defense here. So, <coughs> um, I am going to go – with the Saints here, I think the Saints look really good. I think they can mostly pressure here. Um, so, I'm going to say Saints over the Chiefs. <clears throat> and the teams are on by. The Lions are on by. The Titans are on by. The Eagles are on by. And the Chargers are on by. So, yep. Comment, rate, and response to Dudes Bros. We like love morals. Please subscribe. Hit the notification on the see what all the streams. Comment, response to Dudes Bros. Okay, out. Add our peace.